Good morning. Um, I just been stupidly browsing um, YouTube uh, in the morning, uh, and you invariably come across uh, stories of more um, teenagers and young people um, coming out and wanting to be part of It Gets Better uh, National Coming Out Day and all that incredibly good and worthwhile stuff. And it occurred to me. Um, on the TV, there's a lot of talk about you know the, the kids, children who are bullied um, by their peers and institutions such as the church and uh, the more right-wing parties uh, into thinking that their life isn't worth living. They actually choose to um, take their life to end um, their lives, which is absolutely hideous. And you hear a lot. Of the celebrities, and I understand the instinct um, of anybody to say, you know, to go overboard saying this person inspired me to do X, Y, and Z, blah, 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 blah. And I, one of the things it strikes me is that um, a lot of these people, these children, are only being listened to after their, you know, they've, they've taken their own lives, which is if you think about it, absolutely hideous that we spend more time, you know, that we respect the dead more than we do the living. Um, and, and, and maybe if we spend more time listening to our own children and to young people generally um, about how they feel and what's going on in their lives and what's important to them, not to the parents, not to the churches, not to the schools, but to them, um, maybe we could start to listen to these people and do something about it before they take before they get to the point where they feel the only way they can actually be heard is by um, doing something so horrific um, as ending their own lives. I mean, if anybody's watching this um, who is perhaps you know not feeling as though tomorrow will get better look at the number of videos, you will see that it does feel better. We're not all just doing these it, get, but it gets better videos to trick you. It genuinely does um, get better. Um, people are always, nobody is going to um, love you. <laughs> everybody's, sorry, that's a terrible thing to say. Of course everybody's going to love you. Um, not everybody is going to love you, however. Going through life, you're going to be exposed. If you want to be exposed uh, to the wonders and the, the, the fantastic things in life, you're going to have to also accept that um, there are very stupid, small-brained people. Uh, and I mean, you know, when I say small-brained, I obviously mean stupid. You know, they're thick, they don't really understand the world, they step out from their cave and it's all a bit dazzling. And you are a very colourful, wonderful thing um, that stands out in front of them. And it confuses and scares them and, and they want to get on with other people who are confused and scared because they're all together in sort of some bizarre clique of stupidity. Um, just ignore them. Just, I know, I know it's such an easy thing for me to say, and it's must, and if you are, say you're the only person, the only out guy or the only out girl in your school or your college or, or I mean, I'd be amazed if you were, you're the only out one. You're certainly not the only one though. You know, and I know to you it is the hardest thing. It is, you know, you wish that the earth would just swallow you up. Um, but you, I swear to you, you will look back on that time when you're a little bit older. Just give it time. And I know patience is the worst thing to say to anyone. Um, but give it a little time and you will look back and you'll feel so silly for wasting your time with these, you know, the scum of humanity. Um, which they are. They're doing, you know, they're saying these things and they're doing these things um, to make them feel better in comparison to how bad you feel. Do you know what I mean? And, and, and that's, it's so evil and it's so wrong. And if there were a God, you know, he wouldn't be on the side of the people who are spending your happiness uh, on theirs. Um, so really, there's nothing I can say and there's nothing anybody can say on these videos that will make you feel better instantly or make you think to yourself, do you know what, Pff, all these emotions running around in my head, silly me, 
Um, they are genuine, they do matter, they really do matter. Um, but the point is, there is always somebody for you to talk to, and there is always your teacher. Um, you know, in more reasonable countries and more, which, you know, doesn't include a lot of the world, you know, if you are a member of a church, you can talk to people in um, churches. Um, just, you know, obviously you're going to have to cultivate wisdom a lot more earlier than your peers. Um, but your teacher certainly, um, you, there are numbers in the phone book, there are people on the internet that you can talk to. Um, don't be afraid if there's anybody that's done a It Gets Better video, contact them, talk to them. They will listen to you. They will spend their time, whether it's the biggest celebrity in the world or the smallest nobody uh, in the world. I guarantee you, if you get in contact with them, uh, you will get a response because that's their duty. We're all in this together. Nobody gets out alive, um, which is slightly depressing. But um, they will, you know, people want to help each other and, you know, the whole of that support society is there for you. So please make use of it. Don't do anything um, other than dream about how amazingly fantastic and brilliant you are. Uh, and how things will get better for you, they get better for the rest of us. Uh, I mean, just look at how much things have changed and how the people who are arguing for, for uh, you know, rights to be decided on the basis of sexual preference or rights to be, uh, rights to be um, allocated on the basis of colour or of sex or of age, they're all going, they're all dying out because their theories and philosophies are outdated and just stupid. I mean, you know that they're stupid. This is why, this is the emotion inside you that's telling you this is wrong, because it is. People hating you simply because of who you choose to go to bed with is, you know, completely bonkers. I mean, it is so stupid and your instinct is dead right to think it's wrong, I don't like it. Um, but you've got to stand up and you've got to be counted. I, mean, I, know, it's a, I know it's a big ask and I know it um, seems like a terrible thing. Um, but and, and, you know, and to a certain degree, that's what coming out, the second you come out to your parents, if they're worth anything at all, and a parent is there to support you, they're there to give you the best start in life, they are there to give you a better life than they had. You know, and the natural instinct of 99.9999999% of parents is that they will still love you, and that they will continue to love you, and they will love you more for being honest with them. And if you've got that support structure with you, uh, there's nothing you can't handle, you know, so um, as I say, I'm rambling now, um, but have a fantastic week. You Remember you are brilliant, you are completely, awesomely amazing, and um, so important, so incredibly important to the world that you be all that you can. So um, anyway, um, take care, have a good week, and um, I will see you later.